back to Lake Math. Today we're going to talk about adjacent angles, linear pairs, and whether an angle is complementary or supplementary. So first, adjacent angles. Adjacent just means it's beside. They're next to each other. So they're going to have the same vertex and they're going to share a side. So there's this angle, there's this angle. They're next to each other. They share a vertex, they share a side. Now, a linear pair means we've got a line like this, and we've got a ray coming off of our line. So this angle here and here make up a linear pair. Super important to remember in geometry class, a line is 180 degrees, so is a triangle, a circle is 360 degrees. So in this case, they add up to make a line, so they add up to 180. It's not a big deal, but it's something to know. Complementary angles, we're going to have complementary and supplementary. So with complementary, just think corner. C, C, complementary, corner, complementary, corner. And basically it just means the angles add up to 90 degrees. They don't have to be beside each other. I could have an angle here and a separate angle off somewhere else. And if they add up to 90, they're complementary. Uh, this example here, they're next to each other, but like I said, they don't have to be. Supplementary. Just think S for supplementary, S for side. Supplementary angle means they add up to 180, so just like a line is 180, that's why I said think side, because they add up to 180. Also, they don't have to be next to each other, they can be. In this case, they're next to each other, so this is actually a linear pair, but they don't have to be. They could be in separate parts of your drawing. Vertical angles. They really like this in textbooks and standardized tests. Think uh, SAT, that sort of thing. So we've got two lines that cross. Your opposite angles are going to be equal or congruent. And the adjacent angles are supplementary because you've got a line. So that means that angle 1 and angle 2 add up to 180. Angle 4 and angle 3 add up to 180. Angle 2 and angle 3 add up to 180. Angle 1 and angle 4 add up to 180. And opposite angles are equal. So that means in this drawing, 1 and 3 are the same, and 2 and 4 are the same. So basically, if you know one angle, you know the rest of them. Because this angle, whatever that is, is the same as this one. And then these other two angles are just 180 minus whatever that whatever those guys are. So, it's not too hard, as long as you know the rule.